Dannies, it's Danny here with another Danny's Details video and this week by popular demand and a useful topic to know really we are going to go through the pros and cons of at-home workouts and the circuit so pros and cons of each and the things you need to know and yeah hopefully it's just going to help you keep focus on your health and fitness and keep progressing with that so as always i've got my trusty laptop in front of me with all my notes so if i'm looking down it's because i need to make sure i cover everything because um a lot of research into this one and i want to make sure that you guys are as well informed as you can possibly be so let's just go straight into it for the last too many months to mention <laughs> we have had to adapt to a new way of working out as well as reintroduce the circuit bring it back into our workout regime and we've all been enjoying everything we've been enjoying the home workouts and we've been enjoying coming back to the circuit so it's all been good and all of them both combined of the at home workouts and the circuit have brought about their own benefits their own usefulness so i'm just going to go into more detail about those and the differences as well that you will face with at home workouts and the circuit so yeah just going to tell you why we need both really <laughs> why we need to make sure we're getting on the circuit and we are continuing with exercise when we can as well when we're out and about and we're at home whatever it might be so i'm going to start with the at home workouts and i'm just going to list off a few of the pro well all of the pros that I have and all of the cons. I'm going to explain a little bit more some of them that I feel like needs a bit more detail and then we'll do the same thing with the circuit workouts. So at home, first pro, they're accessible anytime. They are, even though we do them live at 9am, <laughs> yes 9am and 6pm, I should know this by now, they are then uploaded to Facebook and YouTube so you can still access them around those times you don't have to be there for 9 a.m and 6 p.m you can go log on and find them and choose which one you want to do as well so that's one huge benefit there the at-home workouts also provide opportunities to try new moves we get to learn something new learn different things that our bodies can do different movements so that is a benefit there in itself so it's always a useful way to learn how to engage new muscles or, or muscles that we're not used to engaging in certain ways and things like that. You can do multiple together so if you were feeling pretty hardcore though I'm not sure why you'd want to because half an hour of doing those live workouts I'm done but you can if you want to do com wanted to combine I don't know like a leg workout with an upper body workout or do a full body workout and some extra upper body things like that you can combine them if you wanted to it's entirely up to you just as long as you're careful and you know your limits as well we don't want to overtrain too much okay so be careful with that one you can do it in your PJs, <laughs> let's just put it out there. You can do it in comfort. You can, I've had people tell me they've done it in their underwear, especially when it was really, really hot. Couldn't get away with that on the circuit. So <laughs> yeah, you can do it in a bit more comfortable wear if you would like to put it that way really. Although I find gym wear quite comfortable, but each to their own really. Privacy, you have privacy, so you can do it alone in a room, by yourself, laptop, TV, whatever in front of you, following along and you don't have to worry about other people watching you it's just you in that room cracking on with those workouts you've also got freedom of music so i know we play music to all of our workouts but you can always kind of overpower that with your own music you can always put your own music on as long as you can hear what we're saying and you can see and follow what we're doing so that is also a pro there and there's no worry of looking like a hot mess <laughs> unlike me where you guys see us well all of us you see all of us like sweating post-workout you guys get to get away with that really although i might be asking for more sweaty selfies after so i don't feel alone but yeah you've got the sort of comfort of knowing that no one's going to see you you can just finish up go for a shower make yourself look nice and presentable again <laughs> so that's always a good thing now the cons it does require a lot of self-motivation it is hard we have a lot of you guys tell us that you do struggle to find that motivation when you're at home you've got no one there to tell you to do it which is why you like the circuit so motivation is a big factor with these at home workouts if you don't have it it's very very easy for you to just go i'm just not going to bother today so that is a big big con to at home workouts 
also you've got no coach professional i like to think of myself as one of those um to help your technique to ensure that you are using the right muscles to make sure that you're engaging the right ones and your form is correct your alignment's correct there's no one there to really show you and make sure that that is the case we do try and explain it and show you ourselves while we're doing the live workouts but sometimes you might feel like you're doing it but there might be something slightly off so just be careful with that make sure you are trying to follow us pretty much exactly if you can if you've got obviously um injuries and things like that just adapt it slightly to suit that and just take it nice and steady um, but yeah that is something that is missing from these at home workouts and like I say engaging the right muscles you, it's very hard to know if you are engaging them especially the core muscles a lot of people do struggle with the core muscles so they are a, a difficult one to really sort of explain on a live workout we, as much as we try and as much as we try and point out where you should be feeling it it can be a little bit difficult to know for sure not enough equipment when you're at home you might not have all these fancy weights the mats the resistance bands the i don't know other weights of some kind <laughs> you just might not have the equipment and the equipment can be quite expensive to buy especially if you are building strength obviously you need to buy weights for example at different levels you need to buy some light weights going all the way through to those heavier weights in order to build that strength so it's just expensive equipment is expensive so that's another thing that's a con to at home workouts um safety uh keeping safe is just a lot harder when you're on your own um, and that reverts back to sort of your alignment and making sure your technique's okay. So if your alignment isn't okay, you could run the risk of injury of some kind of sort of hurting yourself a little bit. So safety is a little bit more difficult when you're at home. So you, please do be careful of what you are doing. Don't overdo it. Don't try to overdo it if you feel actually I shouldn't be doing it this much. That's fine. Bring it back and just go at a pace you feel comfortable with and slightly uncomfortable with if you want to try and push yourself a little bit but like i say just don't push yourself too much distractions big one when you're at home there are a lot of distractions around especially if you are a mom there's going to be kids running around if you've got pets they might be tugging at your i don't know your trousers wanting to go for a walk you, you've got you probably got husbands that want feeding i don't know there are going to be multiple distractions you might find that you'd, you'd rather do your washing it needs to be done than have that 30 minutes of focusing on you these things do take priority easily when we're at home because it's an you're finding that excuse to not do your workout really and you're trying to rationalize it by well i need to get clothes washed because i'm gonna need this shirt in three days time i don't know so there are going to be a lot of those around but when you're here on the circuit your focus is that workout and getting it done there's no dogs or kids or anything like that running around although you might consider us kids but not in the same way <laughs> lack of community that's another uh, con to at home workouts although the curves barmy army page has been amazing and we still have managed to keep the digital community spirit there having that per like in person community is has been a bit dwindled because we've just not been allowed to obviously socialize and meet up and get into the groups that we used to so the community side of in person has very very much been lacking and when you're at home doing at home workouts you most likely are going to be alone you might have your husband with you or your kids helping you but it's not the same way as meeting other people and sort of almost meeting your curves friends so that's one part of the con to at home workouts another one space you might although tash does amazing in her uh well it's done amazing in her bedroom space can be a difficult thing as well we need room to be able to throw our arms around to be able to step side to side to be able to do kicks you need a good amount of space to be able to do it and sometimes if you don't have that it might put you off from doing those workouts another thing is you don't get the same effect as the circuit workout so for example working opposing muscles at the same time. Now the bicep tricep machine is a perfect example of this. So on that one machine, you are moving and you are working opposing muscle groups at the same time. Now, even though the at home workouts, we combine some moves sometimes. So for example, a squat with an overhead press. Yes, we're working multiple muscles, but we're not working opposing muscles with two, well, just with movement. So 
the circuit does offer us that hip abductor being another one you've got the adductors and the tfl muscle so the inner and outer thigh you're working it at the same time and it's great so we are missing that factor with the at home stuff um as much as we try to cover as much as we can and try and hit multiple muscles it can be difficult and another thing in the last con i have increased resistance to build the strength so as i mentioned earlier to build really really build strength you're going to require at home weights of different weight <laughs> you're going to need some light weights going through to the heavy weights to be able to start building that strength even more but on the circuit you don't have to worry about that as soon as you start pushing harder as you grow stronger the resistance on the machines is going to increase therefore help you build your muscles up so big big thing that we are missing when we are at home unless you have a fully equipped gym room somewhere which i, I even i don't have so um the circuit is perfect for getting that strength building going so that's a couple of the pros and cons for the at home now i'm going to go through the same thing but with the circuit and the pros and cons of that and yeah just enlighten you a little bit more so they both have their benefits as i say and they both have their downfalls it that's the case but a combination of the two is fantastic and that's what we're aiming for so pros of the circuit coaches you've got us coaches we are there to help you we are there to make sure that technique's okay we are there to push you to motivate you to keep you going and working hard and helping you with your goals and helping you figure out how you could achieve them what steps you could take and things like that again that at home stuff during lockdown we've been trying to do that through phone calls but sometimes we need that one-to-one -one face interaction so that's what you get when you come to the circuit you've got us you can see us we can help you we can motivate you and i believe motivation is my second point so there we go two in one for you there and going back to the strength building you have the ability to build strength i would say quicker in the consistency and consistency in trying to push harder is going to make you and help you build those muscles a little bit quicker than if you were just using body weight because body weight doesn't unless you're really having a very very bad diet doesn't increase so it's not going to help you build the strength but the machines will um and yeah you've got machines and equipment here it's all here it's all ready you don't have to worry about faffing around with anything you just get on get on, do your thing on the machines i always go for shoulder press here and then you get off and then you get on to the next one you don't have to worry about picking up the right um weights swapping them over because the, that weight's a bit too hard for that move and getting on those resistance bands and then climbing back out of them you just get on the machines and you just get it done and if you don't have all those weights and resistance bands at home obviously this is much better it's all here for you so that's one benefit to the circuit community as i mentioned before you've got the community here you've got you get to meet new people you get to see new faces you don't see the same ones every day day in day out you've got a lot of lovely ladies all characteristics or personalities it's fantastic so you've got that big community spirit as well um which is great we just we love that it's nice discipline we bring discipline with you so that's kind of going back to the motivation if you're having a bit of a tough time and you feel like oh, i don't really want to do it we can discipline you to get back on it we can give you those tips we can give you those tricks and help you with that discipline and getting on the circuit and when you're here it's your focus that's it that's what you've got to focus on so you discipline yourself to just focus on getting that workout done knowing you're working the correct muscles so that's going back to the coaching we can be there to make sure that you're feeling the right places we can help point it out make sure you're feeling the right muscles we can say like you're feeling your biceps yes great are you feeling your biceps no right let's change that technique let's figure it out let's make sure we're engaging those right muscles so you, you've got us to help you with that stress reduction is much more achievable when you're on the circuit because that ties in with the no distractions and you just get to come in do your 30 minutes smash that circuit and de-stress it's great i mean you can de-stress with the at-home workouts as well but as i say if you've got those distractions it can make it a little bit harder to do so so when you come here you've got a whole clean environment if you would like to think of it that way there's no husbands kids pets whatever you just get to come in everyone's got the same goal in mind get on that circuit workout so you're going to get it done and you can just just whew, feel calmer after a stressful day at work 
So less distractions as I say, that's very important as well. Unless we get dancing away, you might be distracted by that, but we'll put you back in your space, don't worry. Safety as well, we're gonna make sure you're safe. We're gonna make sure that, again, the technique's okay, your alignment's okay, so no injuries are gonna happen. We can make sure you don't trip over everything by warning you to step over things. It's just a nice, safe environment, so that's always nice to know with a circuit. And of course, in 30 minutes, you get a good, full, intense workout to the point that once you've done, you feel accomplished and that you don't really want to do anything else that day workout wise because you've smashed it and you've done everything you can on that circuit in just 30 minutes. So that's great. That's what we want to aim for work with workouts is having a good chunk of time, just doing it and then feeling like you have achieved what you want to achieve. Now, cons of the circuit, but there are cons, definitely. And it's a lot of these do cross over. So time constraints. So with the at-home workouts, as I say, you can do them whenever you want. You can do them at midnight. I don't know why you'd want to, but you could. Whereas here, obviously, you can't do them at midnight because I'm in bed asleep at that time and not on the circuit. <laughs> so yeah, we do have obviously opening and closing time. So you do have to make sure you can plan it around that. I guess no privacy could be part of it. So if you are one of these people that feel a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous, a little bit shy about performing in front of other people, that might be something that you struggle with. But as everyone knows, as soon as you get on the circuit, it doesn't matter. No one's watching what you're doing. They are focused on what they're doing. So do not worry about that. But it can be a, an issue for some people. You can't do any PJs. <laughs> as much as we'd love you all to just be really, really comfortable, it's not, it's not, what's the word I want? <sighs> can't think of the word I want it's just not suitable for the circuit we need to make sure you're wearing proper workout gear really some leggings and a, a nice top nice vest top usually or a t-shirt something that's going to be quite breathable and that you can move around in comfortably but isn't a pajama top or pajama bottoms because they will just get stuck on everything so you just need to make sure that you wear proper equipment proper gear I guess and trainers so doing it in your slippers is just not going to happen is it you do have to leave your house, so that could be another con for a lot of people, especially during the winter months. People do find it a little bit harder to have to get out of that nice warm armchair to come and do a workout. So that's downfall to the to the circuit, but honestly, I wouldn't let weather stop me <laughs> to from achieving my goals. If I want to lose half a stone, then I know I need to get my butt into gear and get out even if it's snowing providing it's not too badly snowing <laughs> you've got to obviously be careful but um that obviously is a big thing for a lot of people so a, a good example is if we know it's going to rain we do tend to see a drop in people just because of a bit of water uh, don't let it stop you but it can be a con for getting here and then travel so travel time can be an issue um especially if there's a bit of traffic or something um again it could be related to bad weather um, obviously if it's really bad snow if it's really bad ice you you shouldn't really go out it's, it's too dangerous so um yeah that could be another con to the circuit so i've gone through everything gone through the con pros and cons of both so they do have the benefits they do have the non-benefits <laughs> but both together are a powerhouse really so just yeah just do what you can but the circuit I think is the better part because you've got us coaches there, you've got us to be personally one-to-one -one with you and make sure you are working correctly, that you are aligned correctly and your technique's good. So yeah, hopefully that's helped you a little bit more understand why the at-home stuff's been great during lockdown and why now that we're back open, we want to try and get on the circuit as often as we can. I know we still have the um, limitations of numbers and stuff like that but hopefully in the future i want to say soon but no one knows that we can start changing that up a little bit but we're doing everything we can ladies we're doing what we can for you offering as much as we possibly can as well so yeah um great so i've got another danny's details already in my brain i've already started typing things out so hopefully there'll be another one very very soon and I will see you for that one. <laughs> okay, ladies, bye.